Can somebody share out not what they said was puzzling, but can you share out what your partner said was puzzling about their model? As a way to show that we were absolutely listening to our partners. Roddy, go ahead. Uh, now, the tectonic plates make the make it grow bigger. What do you mean the tectonic plates? So how they shift and then points it up and then the mountain grows. So I heard you say it was puzzling, and who did you speak with? Miles. Okay, so it was puzzling about tectonic plates making something bigger. Is that what I heard you say? Great, thanks for sharing about Miles' work. Um, Sophie. This was kind of, I had two partners, so Great. both of them said this. Um, kind of confusing how the tectonic plates actually worked and like what happened with the tectonic plates. Okay, yeah, and to be honest with you too, that was a fancy word that I, I've heard some people saying and looking at people's initial models, not everybody had that, so maybe that's something we have to figure out about too. Great, thanks for sharing, Toby. Toby, what's your partner say? Um, I had two partners, and um, Ethan said, um, thought that the snow came down and then it would push the mountain up because it would all catch at the bottom okay. of the mountain. And then Noah said that it would be raised as um, the mountain was moving. So like the mountain might go up a hill and that's how it would get taller. Okay. Interesting. Those seem like different ideas, right? And that's interesting and puzzling too, right? And I see you guys laughing. Like, why are you laughing? Because ideas are not the best. Hold on a second, but we have to recognize, like, I don't think anybody at this point, right, really knows how this works. We have a lot of questions about that, and even though your ideas are different, are different ideas in our classroom okay? Yeah, I mean, think back to our thermal energy unit. None of us considered particle collisions at the beginning, and at the end, we were laughing about where we had gone, right? So it's totally okay. Some of you are smiling now. It's totally okay to have these ideas in the game, right? So thank you for sharing, okay? And what I'd like us to do is we're going to actually build out an initial consensus model, okay? So remember that when we start this, we're going to try and find things that we absolutely without a doubt agree upon. And then, as I'm already hearing some puzzling stories being shared, it seems like we might have some disagreement, okay? And is disagreement okay? Absolutely, right? So we're going to work towards that. And then we're also going to try to think about um, are there any kind of ideas out there that maybe as we share what we agree and disagree upon that maybe new ideas emerge and we can consider them too, okay? So, um, let's see if I can do it this way. And this might be kind of crazy, we'll see. But, can you see here like this? Can you guys maybe all see this? Is this gonna write behind it? Okay, cool, great, it'll work. Awesome, so, um, let's start. What are some things as a class we absolutely think that we probably agree on about this Mount Everest phenomenon? Like, what is hands down like we know? Chanel. Um, that it's moving northeast. Okay, can I have everybody participate? Do we agree that the mountain is moving northeast? Yes. yes. Thumbs up, thumbs down? Okay, unanimous. I don't have everybody participating. Okay, cool, great. So how do I draw that? How do you guys want me to show this? Anybody have any ideas? Go ahead, Karen. So you draw one picture with the mountain here, and then like another one with the mountain here, and so on and so forth, I guess. What's he saying? Mountain here, another mountain here. Before and after. Go ahead. Like a before and after effect? Is that what you mean, Karen? How do we feel about that? Before and after? Yes. Yes, no? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, cool. So a before and an after. Is that okay? 